Strike three, you're out. What's up everyone, Scott Sutherland here. It's Tuba Tuesday, let's talk about practice strategy. Far too often, I've heard students mindlessly practicing, making the same mistakes over and over again, developing bad habits and digging themselves into holes that they can't seem to get out of. How does anyone know if they need to keep at it? How do you know when it's time to change it up? How do we get the results we need in the most efficient time? Well, for me, I use a tool with my students called the Three Strikes Rule. The way it works is that a short passage of music is identified and practiced repeatedly. Make a mistake, try it again. Played it perfectly, great. Work to play it three times perfectly in a row. If you play three attempts with mistakes in a row, you need to simplify the passage. Slow it down, sing it, buzz it, clap and count, air fingers, tongue only, or some other similar practice method. Work with that simplified mode again until you get it three times through perfectly in a row. If you again play three attempts with mistakes in a row, you need to simplify the passage even further. Singing slowly is probably the most simplified we can make a passage. Always have the courage and the lack of ego to practice music in the most simplified way necessary to find success. We want our music making to sound easy and effortless, but if the sounds you make in the practice room are effortful and struggling, then you will develop that into habits that will be hard to replace. Remember, practice doesn't make perfect, practice makes permanent. Once you get it three times perfectly in a row, add elements of the music back in one by one with the goal of eventually playing through the music as written. With this strategy, you will instill good habits in your playing as well as confidence on stage. Follow me for more tips. Check out scottsutherlandmusic.com and I'll see you next week.